lighting it. Perfect. So welcome, everyone. Uh, this is a bit of an informal session, just so you guys can uh, meet us and learn a bit about the Alliance. Um, I'll be going through a presentation so that you learn all about what we do and how we do it. But you'll also be able to hear from our members um, who will be able to tell you their experiences of Alliance membership. And we'll also be joined by Suzanne Barnes, who is our head of talent. Uh, so it looks after all our people sort of initiatives and training. Okay, so I think actually we should start then. Let's kick off. So welcome everyone. Right. So first of all, uh, our mission is to help the independent agency community and the people in Thrive every way. And this is really important actually because the Alliance is not a, a club for CEOs or anything like that. We have programs for everyone in the agency from when they start in the agency you know, that first day they walk in all the way through to CEO level. So that's a big, big difference uh, with us in other organizations. Everyone in your organization will be able to reap the benefits of Alliance mentorship. And also there's a point of difference. Uh, so all of our agencies have to go through third party verification. Uh, this is done by Globality, our partner, and they're an AI platform, a global platform. And what they do is they check our agencies for sort of things like professional standards and uh, financial reputation, all those sort of things. So that's really, really key because then you know that you can be reassured that uh, the other agencies in the Alliance, 107 is it now, I think, Kirsten? Something like that anyways. Yeah, 107 agencies within that are all verified. So there's no cowboys or anything like that. These are top notch agencies who have reached specific standards. Um, so that's a great thing for you guys to know. Uh, moving on. Right, so this is the team. I'm not gonna go through everyone, but I just wanted to embarrass Graham, who's uh, on the call also, one of the, the founders. <laughs> um, and he's one of the uh, founders and he was the founder of the marketing store also. Uh, and then also Clive, our other um, founding director, who has been with, uh, you know, founded many agencies, marketing drive, things like that. So the reason why I point them out is because um, they really are sort of those people who can give us the guidance. You know, they've been there, they've done it. Uh, and they're a great, you know, pair of people to really lean on as we um, sort of push the, the business forward. Us forward. All right. No, it's not just us as a team. It's also, uh, we have an advisory board. Uh, so these are actually 12 CEOs who work in uh, member agencies and uh, they represent all the different disciplines of the Alliance. So the Alliance is discipline agnostic. Uh, so we've got experiential, we've got creative, we've got TBC, uh, SEO, everything that you can imagine under that sort of marketing and advertising space, we've got it. But these people have been handpicked to represent those disciplines. And they really give us that guidance to, and strategic sort of guidance so that we can really push our services uh, in the correct way for our members. So they're leading lights in the industry. Okay, now we're going to get into it uh, in sort of in earnest. So these are the things that we do representation, amplification, and support. And I'm going to go in through into each one of those uh, in detail now. So in terms of representation, we're members of the Advertising Association. And that's a big deal. You can see some of those names on that council. And that's our way of lobbying on your behalf. That is our interface, let's say, to the government. So we sit on that council, but we're the only people on that council who really bang the drum for independent agencies. We also are members of the debating group. So uh, that means we host debates in the Houses of Parliament. Uh, and we've actually got one on the 11th of July. All of our members are invited. And we're talking about putting legislation in for payment terms because we think that large companies are treating, well, small independent agencies unfairly. So you guys can come down to the Houses of Parliament, uh, have a nice evening with us. We go down to the red line, a little old haunt there, uh, do a bit of networking. Uh, it's a great night nice out for anyone in the agency to join us. In terms of amplification, there's a couple of big things that we do. Obviously the Independent Agency Awards, and I'm sure that all of you have heard of that before. Uh, and also we work very closely with our media partner, Little Black Book. So I'm just gonna get into that a little bit more now. 
So the Independent Agency Awards, um, this is really uh, our big way of shining a spotlight on the incredible work that independent agencies do. Now, as you can see by that right to sponsors on there, uh, it's quite a big deal. You know, people like Google, et cetera, are, are behind this. So that really supercharges the exposure. Um, this is actually uh, hosted at MadFest. Uh, this year, it's going to be on the 4th of July, <laughs> just by coincidence. So that's going to be our Independence Day. And you can imagine about 400, 500 uh, people, uh, a lot of them clients, um, a lot of senior agency people come down, descend on MadFest. We take over the festival on the first night and we run our awards program. So we hope that you can all uh, enter the awards and also join us uh, for that celebration of independence. But, oops, but it's not just uh that that actual night there's actually a big run-up to the whole thing and um before that we have uh, some judging rounds and specifically round two where we bring down about 120 people down to uh google town hall st charles uh to judge and debate the the winners for the awards so you can imagine about 60 very senior clients like people like the head of marketing for british airways that type of level of clients are there and 60 of our senior leaders that come down to, to uh, on the day um we split them into groups so that you know there's three clients three agency people in a team and then throughout the day we debate the work and we actually choose the winners that will be celebrated on the 4th of july at mad fest um so there's a lot going on there with the awards so like i said i hope you can join us and in terms of application, so we work very closely, as I mentioned before, with LBB, our media partner, their global publication, with about 250,000 unique uh, uh, users every month. And this is how we really can profile our agencies, make them famous, and also uh, profile the people in your agencies to really, really shine a, a spotlight on there. So there's some nice examples here of stuff we've done. So one of our member agencies, the Elephant Room, um, they're shouting about four new hires, you know, getting their stories out there. This is the way that we can really just get any of your agency news out there and shout about it and get it to a really wide audience and then just boost it through all of our social channels and your social channels also. And that's just part of your membership, all of this. Uh, we've also got a series on there called Rolling with the Pictures. Um, so this is where we're profiling the people who are in charge of new business in the agency. As you can see, that's a great example there where we've got Jamie Matthews from Initials in there talking about his experience uh, in venturing. And then my favorite one is actually the creative hero piece. Um, so this is where we shine a spotlight on your sort of more upcoming, uh, sort of more junior talent in your agency. This absolutely blows up when we do this. We, we, Posted on LinkedIn. And as you can see, like loads of comments, likes, shares, it just blows up. And it's a great way, obviously, uh, to retain your staff, you know, because you're really, you're valuing them really by doing these sort of things. So we do all these programs, not just to build the name of the agency, but also the people in it. And now we're going to go into the support section. And today we are joined actually by two of our co chairs uh, from our member agencies. Uh, Sabrina and Laura. So I'd love to pass on to Laura to start, just to ex explain sort of your role as a co-chair and also your experience as uh, a co-chair at the Alliance. Thanks, Terry. You threw me there because I was second on the list. So I was mm -hmm. waiting for Sabrina. But yes, um, I'm Laura Oliphant. I'm founder of a comms agency called Stand um, and took over the purpose co-chair role in September. And um, I've been spending sort of that time from then to now really understanding what had been done previously and thinking about how I could take the co-chair role and the alliance on from sort of what had been done for the last two years, which I think is focusing a lot on kind of achieving B Corp, creating purpose within your agency and you sort of enabling your clients to have a sort of greater purpose. So one thing I was really sure about when I took over the co-chair role was that um, I wanted it to be focused on 
action rather than words, because I think that's how the purpose kind of debate has moved on. So um, what we're planning to do um, is to deliver rather than kind of meet as agencies and spend time sort of talking about purpose to um, encourage our members to commit some pro bono time and tackle um, two campaigns a year um, that really shows what independent agencies can achieve. Um, Terry talked at the beginning about, you know, we're channel agnostic, we're kind of discipline agnostic. And I think that's quite a powerful partnership of 107 agencies, because it really means that we could deliver um, a campaign from kind of research insight to creative to kind of where my agency would come in and some of the other comms agencies in terms of delivery over social and traditional media. So, um, we're pretty much there with what that first campaign would be. Um, we're going to be putting it to the sort of insight and kind of creative um, teams within the Alliance to sort of kind of kick that off. And the way to um, imagine how it might work is that it's going to be a baton that's passed from um, agency groups to agency groups. So it would work almost like a campaign um, would work within um you know a sort of traditional campaign setting the second part of what we hope to achieve through that is sort of something that terry's sort of talked about in terms of being a voice for independence which is our hope is that by sort of delivering a campaign that gets people talking and kind of is focused on you know sort of changing attitudes and hopefully behavior it will actually show what the alliance can do and what independent agencies can do which is something else that we've been um, talking about which is how we create kind of brand fame for the alliance and its members so that um, potential clients and partners would think of independence alongside larger kind of global agencies um so yeah that is our, our plan and that's probably why it's taken a kind of few months to decide how we're actually going to deliver um the work within my sort of um pillar um, and that's really because we're trying to kind of tick a number of boxes um in delivering it but yes yeah, so i'll be looking for volunteers very soon i'm back from leave so my action is to kind of get the brief um out there and yeah it would be great even and if you kind of can't imagine how this would work even if every member um gave and don't test my maths here like five to ten hours of pro bono time you know we're delivering um you know therefore sort of around 100 agency days of kind of creative and execution which you can do amazing stuff with if you actually think of that as a client budget so i've talked enough but uh, that is the plan Thank you very much, Laurie. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not just about what you get out, it's also what you can put in into the alliance, which is very rewarding, as you can imagine. Um, Sabrina, our people chair, over to you. Hi, everyone. I'm Sabrina Schwanz. Um, I am the founder of an agency called Complex Creative, um, where we kind of specialize in building low carbon websites, but we're actually a full service creative agency, um, which is, you know, one of the reasons why I've been speaking to a lot of um, people at the Alliance, because it, previously, I think the Alliance was like more focused on, um, you know, advertising agencies, but as Terry said, it's now got a whole wide range of different um, different areas of of creative and marketing and websites and copy and everything and there's all these different agencies that covers it so it's good that I'm kind of aware of all those different things so my my role is people chair which covers a lot of things um so it's anything to do with d and i um new talent all that sort of stuff the well-being and so there's lots of different pillars within the people arm and I've got a great kind of team behind it who are leading the different ones with different groups as well so um the focus is on on each different one has its own kind of um events and meetups but what we're also trying to do as um the people kind of a pillar is to kind of bring those people together so actually Terry we've been obviously chatting about potential events that we're going to be doing um but one of my things that I've been doing since I started is I've actually been speaking to member agencies one-on-one -on -one, literally getting to know every single one of them and as Kirsty said there's like 107 or something at the moment so I haven't quite got through to all of every, every single one of them but I am here to do that and, and I do believe that as people chair my door is always open so if you ever need to talk to me about anything and any concerns I can you know listen out 
uh, and, and give some feedback on what we kind of do at the Alliance and be able to give an overview of, you know, who best to talk to and, you know, what sort of events are the best for you, but also hear your ideas. And as, as a result of a lot of those conversations so far, um, we've come up with some fantastic new um, ideas around the people seat. So, for example, we're going to have like roundtable discussions about, you know, what what's going on in agencies I know that a lot of leadership teams are worrying at the moment cost of living crisis everyone's worried about it do we pay our staff more what benefits do we give what are the salary bands that we should be offering all these questions are at the forefront of everyone's mind um so you know the alliance want to bring people together and kind of get lots of agencies in the same room to discuss where we are so we kind of have these benchmarks which are really amazing same with well-being. What do we offer people for well-being? Everyone's really different. So again, getting people together to talk about that. One of the other agencies is fantastic. They've got support for mental health and they're they're offering that to, to other members of the, of, of the Alliance as well, which is really great. So there's loads of shared resources within the Alliance. Um, and so there's and there's tons of training around all this sort of stuff as well when it comes to DNI certifications and all that sort of stuff. So the people see is has got a lot of arms under it. Um, and you know, as many of you know, being an agency world, like a lot of um issues or you know queries that come up are around people so naturally there's a lot of work that goes into it to support everyone um so yeah that's that's my role so if you ever have any questions around people my door is always open and you know there are no kind of silly suggestions or or questions and you know the lines are always here to kind of help and provide some sort of support for it thank you very much sabrina thanks laura also so right, we're going to carry on now. So we talked about uh, we spoke about representation, and we also spoke about amplification. Uh, and now this is the support section. So this is where you can really sort of the day to day sort of nuts and bolts that we do. Um, what we always like to say is that um, if you get people and purpose right, you're definitely going to be get get be getting the performance. And we honestly believe that. That's our mantra. Um, so I'm going to go into uh, the support section now. Um, everything that we do falls out of these three pillars. Uh, let's get into it. All right. So the first thing is the action groups. And this is like the engine room, you could say, of the alliance. Uh, these are our peer-to-peer -peer networking groups that are output focused. They are run by people in our le senior leaders in our agencies. Um, and I'm going to go through each one. Uh, in a bit. Uh, they meet every quarter. So there's 10 of them every quarter for you to get involved in. Uh, they are a combination of live, virtual, in-person, that type of thing. Uh, but what they really try to do is all our agencies come together um, to sort of share their knowledge, uh, speak about their issues, uh, and come up with solutions, really, uh, in these groups. Um, so I'm going to go into the people one first. So we've got DEI, which is our diversity, equity, inclusion group. So we're really, really hot on this. We really believe that diverse diversity is so important in agencies. It makes for more creative agencies. So we uh, teach our agencies how to hire diverse talent, uh, but also to make them include included and make sure that they actually retain that diverse talent. Um, so there's a raft of things that we speak about uh, in that group. Uh, the talent group, so that's sort of like your HR sort of focused sort of group. Uh, so we're looking at, you know, retention, recruitment, that type of stuff, uh, benefits, all of that stuff. So, you know, if you're HR manager or maybe you're a smaller agency and you've just, uh, you're, the CEO is looking after the people, whoever is looking after that people sort of area, they come to that group. And, and talk about all those things under the talent umbrella. Uh, the wellbeing group uh, is a group where we can teach our leaders how to implement wellbeing programs in an agency, and also um, to teach staff uh, tools like resilience and how to look after their mental health. And that's a really, really important thing, you know, to drive the performance of an agency to have P people uh, in your agency. And then we've got the future leaders, uh, which is a nominated group. Um, so this is for your rising stars. There's only a dozen of them at a time for a year. But these are the people who are your rising stars who want to give back to the industry, you know. Uh, and they're almost like our shadow board. You know, they've really raised a couple of things in the past few years. You know, um, they really pushed us to, to start looking at sustainability and mental health like many years ago. Um, that's why we were kind of pioneers in that, that area because of that feature leader sort of shadow board that we've got. So we we rely on them quite a lot. And then the purpose pillar. So we have the CO summits strictly 
the CIS, uh, CIS or um, managing directors, that type of leader. And we've actually got one coming up on the 27th of April, I think, if I'm correct. Uh, and that is actually talking about salary inflation. So we've partnered with uh, major players who do the largest salary survey for our, uh, our industry. Uh, but the beauty of it is that they've actually segmented all the independent agency data out of their survey just for the Alliance membership. So part of your membership, you get that data. Um, so that will be happening on the 27th of April. Uh, and then we've got the sustainability group, which is run by Graham. Uh, and this is this is a huge thing at the moment. I mean, clients are asking questions. Procure procurements are asking questions. Everything around sustainability is really, really hot. And our agencies come together and discuss um, how they can, you know, make sure that the agencies are sustainable and also how they can answer those questions. Some of our agencies um, are already B Corp accredited. Some of them are just starting their journey. They come together, they share, and they learn from each other. The performance pillar, um, so the creative group. So this is where our creatives come together, you know, our designers and our creative directors, uh, all those sort of people in that area. And they look at award-winning work uh, and see why it won, that type of thing. Uh, strategy and planning, that's where your strategists and your planners, and that's a new group. And this is actually the second one that's just coming up, uh, led by Catherine from the Specialist Works. And then the commercial group, uh, this is for like your sort of FDs, that type of thing, or the person who's looking after the commercial aspects of running an agency. Uh, so we look at stuff like profitability of property, uh, future outlook, all that sort of stuff, um, commercial aspects of running an agency. And then the new business group, uh, this is kind of co-run with JFDI, um, and basically what we do there is we really sharpen and hone your skills in winning new business so that you can be the very, very best that you can be in terms of, uh, you know, winning new business. And that actually goes for all of these, these, these groups. They're actually designed uh, to make the people who work in agencies be the very, very best that they can, can be and to be at the top of their game. Uh, from learning from each other. I mean, we get uh, speakers and sometimes also, you know, if we need to top up any knowledge. Um, so this is just designed to make your agency people the very best they can be. Right, events. So we do all those action groups. So there's uh, 10 of those every quarter. So there's 40 throughout the year. But we also do other, other events over here. And this is some good examples of what we do. So we do in the hot seat every quarter. Uh, as you can see, we had leading industry figures who uh, we interview uh, in that season. So that gives you like a really uh, a different outlook uh, and inspiration from these industry leaders that we interview um, for our members. And then my favorite actually is Green Jam. So that is a event that we do every two weeks. Um, and basically what it is, is an educational, almost inspiration sort of session for your, I would say, uh, more junior sort of staff in the agency up to account director about that level. We've actually got one today. We've got 101 people, or probably even more now, I'd imagine, uh, signed up um, for Green Jam this afternoon at four o'clock. And we're looking at presentation skills, but it's not just presentation skills, it's actually engagement, how you can get engagement through that. And there's some good uh, examples in the past that we've done some stuff. So, you know, the Web3 one, the agency perspective. So you can imagine like your young people that come to Green Jam, they listen about it, they learn about stuff, new stuff, and then they get inspired and they come back to work, you know, they speak about it among their colleagues. And uh, a lot of the time they use that, that information, you know, in their campaigns. Um, so it's a great, great program that we do for the more sort of junior staff in the agency. And another event, so this is a big one that we do, it's the UK Independent Agencies uh, Conference. So this is confirmed actually this year, uh, 21st of September. And this is where all your leaders uh, in the agency come down together for the day to talk about all the things that are really important to independent agencies there'll be big speakers there panel sessions all that sort of stuff today a great day of getting together all the leaders together networking uh and yeah talking about you know what's important to independent agencies ah and this one the festival happiness this has got to be my favorite um big event that we do so uh, it's confirmed for 10th of October uh, and it's sponsored by Google. So it'll be hosted at the Google Town Hall in London. Uh, and this is a day dedicated to mental health and well-being. Um, so there's a bit of a serious angle to it also because we've got our well-being survey and we released the, the, uh, the data, the results uh, at that day. But it's also a fun day. Uh, we have things like laughing yoga <laughs> there. 
And what this day tries to achieve is to make sure that our leaders are prepared and they know how to implement these wellbeing programs into the agency, but also the sessions on there to really help our staff and agencies um, learn how to deal with mental health issues and really look after their well-being. Um, so that's a great day uh, for our agencies to get involved in. Right, benchmarking. So we're a bit famous for this one, so the people pulse. Uh, so we do this every quarter. Like I said, all this stuff is part of your membership and uh, we do it every quarter. And uh, basically this is a management tool. So it's 10 questions. Um, and what it tries to do is to ascertain the thoughts and the feelings of people working in the agency. So for example, one of the questions could be, um, is your leadership communicating effectively? Um, am I given learning or de development opportunities? All those things, so there's 10 questions. Um, so we get all the results from the Alliance and we can see how the Alliance as a whole is tracking on those 10 questions. But the beauty of it is as an Alliance member, you get a personalized benchmark. So you can see how your agency fares versus the rest of the Alliance. And that's absolute gold dust for you guys to actually know how people, are, what they're thinking of on those 10 points within um, the People Pulse. So amazing management tool. Every quarter we get the membership together, we look at the results together, we pull out the key outtakes, all that, and discuss why you know, certain things have changed within those, those surveys. So it's a great one uh, for our members. We also do one in the commercial area, but we do this twice a year. So it's 20 questions, so a bit longer. Uh, but this is great for people who are looking after, after the commercial aspects of running an agency to see what their peers are thinking in, in terms of their moves in running an agency. So we look at, you know, possibility and staff remuneration, plan spend, future outlook, all those sort of things. Uh, and then again, we bring the, uh, the membership together at the end um, after the survey, sorry, to, um, to discuss the results, you know, and we have a, a panel session to really dig into anything, the highlights or things that we want to really like root out from that, from that survey. Wellbeing survey, I mentioned before, do this once a year, and this is the data that we use for the Festival of Happiness. And then legal services. So this is administered by our partner, Liam Thompson, very respected providers in this field. Um, so you get 30 minutes free every month for Liam Thompson. And also they administer the pitch protection scheme. So uh, if you're going into a pitch, you're a bit worried, it's a new client, maybe you think they're gonna run away with your ideas. Uh, we've got you covered. So within 24 hours, we can flip this around for you so that you've got a pitch protection certificate uh, and this basically says that this pitch, all of these ideas have been filed by Leon Thompson um, and protected under the pitch protection scheme. Uh, it's a deterrent for clients for not, to not, you know, sort of run away with your, with your ideas and your hard work. Training. So I'm going to pass over to Suzanne, who's our head of talent, and she'll be uh, taking you through all of our initiatives in the training sort of area. Over to you, Terry. Um, hello. Um, so I, as Terry said, I'm Suzanne Barnes. I'm um, head of people here at the Alliance. Um, a little bit about me. So before kind of moving into the people and training space, I um, worked pretty much all of my career in agencies. So previously I was client services director. Um, I used to run the Fiat business across Europe. Um, for an agency called ARC, um, and I'm also a qualified executive coach. But here at the Alliance, I do everything connected with kind of people and training. And it's just worth saying I am here as a resource. So, you know, whilst I run the training programs, I can, I'm at the end of the phone, if there are any kind of people related questions, quite often the person looking after people and training is, is just one person in the agency and there's not always someone else to talk to. So I'm kind of always here just to kind of help and support and discuss things if, if it's needed. Uh, in terms of our training, um, we're not like a traditional commercial training company. We're very much member led. Um, almost everything that we do is, is put on because our members have kind of asked for something in that area. So it might have come out of discussions or out of action groups. Um, and if there's enough members that want training in a particular area, then we will do our utmost to, to put the training on. 
Um, we want to make it obviously as accessible to as many people as possible. So we have different kind of formats and durations. So our shortest sessions are 90 minutes um, and our longest one, the Diploma in Integrated Marketing is six months. Um, we have different formats. So our shorter sessions are done virtually. Um, but we are seeing more and more kind of moving back to face-to-face. -to -face. So the longer sessions, we um, try to do them face-to-face, -face, but we do also put most of them on at least once a year virtually, which is particularly helpful for agencies that are not based in London. Um, so kind of everybody can access them in one way or another. And uh, we try and have training that um, appeals to different job functions. So it's not just client service. We have commercial groups, uh, commercial training. Um, we have training for HR people. So we kind of try and kind of cover for everybody. Obviously, we want to make it great value. Um, I will always do my best to make it as affordable um, for, for our members. Um, as I said, we want to make sure it's relevant and engaging. I spend a great deal of my time just talking uh, to members um, and listening about what it is that they want to make sure that it is kind of right for what your, your kind of needs are today. And obviously we want training to be of the highest standards. So we have a, an um, amazing team of trainers who are hugely experienced and have been in the industry for a long time. We always ask for feedback from the delegates and it's very, very rare that, that we get anything negative. And if, if it is, it tends to be that, you know, you're not enough food or, you know, the coffee wasn't quite right, but the, the quality of the training is, is really, really good. So um, if you just move on to the next slide, Perry, no, not that one. Um, I, I'm just going to skim over it. Um, if anybody would like more detail on all of the training, I'd be very happy to kind of arrange a separate session and take take you through everything. But um, you can also see all of the courses that we offer on our website. So this year we've actually got over a hundred different courses. Um, as I said earlier, they kind of vary in duration. With the ninety minute ones, they cost 125 pounds for, for members. So really, um, you know, kind of really affordable and accessible. Um, I think I've covered kind of most of this, but we've got a new website and <clears throat> I think it is pretty intuitive and, and kind of easy to see what we have as we have so many courses now. So you'll see those orange icons and I can hardly see them, but um, basically if you go onto the website, those are all the different kind of skills that we offer. So we do, do training in well-being, in client service, in strategy, we have loads of business skills, oh. <laughs> um, DEI, um, we have an excellence program that you may have heard of, which is kind of client service related. Um, and then our kind of flagship, I guess, is our diploma in integrated marketing, which is a six month program, which runs over 12 modules and the delegates have a real live client brief which the client briefs them at the start of the session and they work on it throughout and present it live. We've just finished the, um, the last one where we had an amazing brief from a charity called Young Minds and, and had the most amazing responses. And actually the client has asked, you know, some of those delegates to come back and actually present to their team because they were so uh, kind of amazed at the quality of the thinking and the presentation. So um, have a look at the website um, and, and, you know, as I said, if there are any questions, if you would like to know more, um, in terms of how the website works, it's pretty obvious, but you kind of can click on one of those icons. And then as you see on the right hand side, so I had clicked on client service, I think, and it just comes up with the relevant courses that are available for the rest of the year by month. So you'll see there, there's the how to delegate, how to become a strategic partner, learning how to manage upwards. But um, I would encourage you just to go and have a look um, and see what's relevant and, and pick up the phone or drop me an email if, if you'd like to know more. Thanks very much, Suzanne. Excellent. And that pretty much brings us to the end of the uh, presentation. So just a, a, a quick overview of the benefits there that you've got. So obviously the 10 peer-to-peer uh, -peer networking groups that we've got, um, that meet every quarter. Um, and what I didn't man mention is that all of them are connected to Slack channels, so you can carry on the conversation uh, through those Slack channels. Um, obviously, we are creating a members area uh, and a members directory, directory, and you'll be able to um, access supplier discounts through that members area, which is going to be launched in the next couple of weeks. Um, 50 plus member only events per year, so that's quite a lot. 
um, access to the benchmarking that I spoke about, people pulse, commercial pulse, uh, and that new salary survey with major players uh, that we're going to release on the 27th. Um, application, like I said, through LBB, our media part, uh, partner, the global partner, and the independent agency awards. Um, speaking opportunities at all those events that I mentioned. And then uh, the legal services. Uh, and as Suzanne was talking about, uh, very reasonable member rates for Alliance training also. So if you're an agency on this call and you're less than 10, good news for you. £125 plus VIT a month is our membership fee. Uh, and for, uh, for agencies over 10, it's 250 plus VIT um, a month. Uh, those uh, fees, we hope, re uh, represent value uh, for independent agencies. And that's what the Alliance is all about, is um, we're here to, to make sure that we're always providing value for our members. Uh, and that is the end of the presentation. So I'd like to open the floor to any questions that any of you may have. Who's Hi, Terry. It's Nicola at Happy Hour. Hello there. Hi. The um, awards and the cost for those awards, um, yes. is, that, is that a discounted like member yes. rate? Yeah, yeah. So basically what we've done with the, the awards is that we've looked at all the award schemes that are out there in our uh, sector and in industry, uh, and we've made sure that uh, provide super value for our members in terms of uh, entry fees for those. So for the early bird, it's £200, and then it ra rises all the way to, I think it's £300 plus VIT for the very, very late, late, late deadline and 250 in the in the. Uh, in the uh, in the middle for the regular deadline. So I hope you agree also that if you compare it to other awards schemes, it's it's pretty pretty good value done. So yeah, two hundred pounds early bird, all the way to three hundred for late. Okay. For, me for um, members. But you can enter those if you're not a member. Is that right? Yes, so of course. You're against yeah. other um, non-member agencies. Yes, yeah. So we've made sure that uh, the awards are open to all independent agencies. That's the quali qualifying sort of factor there. You have to be independent, but it's open to all that. And to be honest, half of the entries are from non-members. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, just, and another one from me. How many of your member agencies are regional or outside of London? Oh, so that's, that's a great question. So when um, COVID hit, Obviously, we were very, very London centric before COVID. Uh, but because of that, we've actually had a, a bit of a split. So it's, it's about 60 40 now, 60% okay. uh, London, 40% regional. Uh, a good little base in sort of, uh, you know, around Manchester, all of that, a bit in Southwest, all that sort of stuff. So it's yeah. spread around, around the country. Yeah. And we were actually, um, which I haven't mentioned in this presentation, is we go around the country meeting our members. So we do this series called the Dream Board, which is a round, round table sort of discussion for uh, agencies. Um, so we get together our members uh, to discuss um, their issues at those sessions. So we've been to Manchester, we've been to Bristol. Uh, we've got one on the 6th of July in Edinburgh. Um, we're probably going to Norwich uh, soon and probably around Brighton. Uh, late anywhere so we get around also it's not just about London and I think Nicola I think you probably heard of us from the dream board in Bristol I did so yeah. thanks for, and I think the other thing that and Suzanne mentioned it we're here to serve members so if we get enough density in any particular area we'll run events in that area so you know we, we are contemplating running green jam events in Leeds and Manchester and we've certainly in the past run our diploma program in the northwest so you know, we're here to serve members. If there's enough demand locally, we can organise local events and local training. It's all possible. Okay, great. Thank you. And by the way, going back to your awards question, we do we do invite non-members to participate, and both in terms of entering and also judging. So we have quite a lot of non-member agencies actually come along and help us with the judging as well, just so you know it. Uh, the very honest, open way. And, and in fact, Agency of the Year last year was a non-member, just to show you how impartial everything is in that area. 
Okay, great, thank you. Uh, Dominica has her hand up. Hi, thank Hello. you very much. That was really, really interesting. Um, just a quick question. So I'm assuming if you're an agency over 10 people that all my staff can access the services or is it purely the senior leadership team? No, it's the, the alliance is for every single person in the agency. Okay. So that person who work, walks into an agency for the first day, we've got services for them and they can access all those benefits. Those action groups, anyone can come to them, whatever. Okay. So it doesn't matter about your, your level or anything. We can all come together and learn from each other. Brilliant. Thank you very much. No problem. We also, um, I noticed we've got Ralph on the call from Qubit Technology, who's one of our latest sort of partners. And together with Qubit, we're um, considering running an action group or an event networking event for people in operations. Because, the, you know, the forgotten people who, you know, run all the back room and they're, they're probably quite lonely in, in lots of agencies. So we're, we're providing a networking event for them to talk about you know, what technology they're using, how they manage various aspects of, you know, legal work and things like that. So, you know, even the operations people are not forgotten when it comes to Alliance. Graham, I think you could, you could train people on clairvoyance. You read my mind. Thank you very much for uh, <laughs> telling people about that. Yeah. No, it was a, it was a Ralph initiative as a partner of the, of the Alliance. He'd also spotted that uh, operations people were kind of the forgotten few. And how could he help us help them? So we've started a new initiative uh, with Qubit to, to engage them, as I say, in dialogue and, and help and sharing and developing future ideas for them. So no one gets forgotten when it comes to the line. It's a great point also because, um, you know, with our partners and our members, um, our doors are always open. So we're always um, there to receive, you know, feedback and and work on any ideas that our, our members may have. Any other questions? Okay, excellent. Okay. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for joining us. I hope you found that valuable. Um, you can email me, call me anytime if you uh, want to learn any more. Um, and hopefully, I'll be welcoming we're welcoming all of you into the Alliance uh, very soon. So thank you very much.